Rob's fix the shop. Does this guy look familiar? Well, it should. I just worked on it. Um, the reverb, reverb w went out on it. And um, so I'm going to take a look at it, see if I can fix it. And uh, hopefully this will be a much shorter video than the other one. But um, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so right away, if I tap it, I can hear that. I can hear the reverb tank. So the pickup side of it seems to be working. But if I um, clearly tell that there's no reverb kind of coming through. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that, see if we can figure out what's going on. So I think if we look at our reverb circuit, so the reverb comes in right here, right? And then you've just got two transistors here one that's handling each side of the wave as it's going back and forth. That comes out through here, through a little capacitor. And then there's a FET here that, that switches the output and the output then comes through the, uh, and this is hooked to the foot pedal. Um, and then that goes through then this uh, reverb potentiometer. But this side seems to be working. So let's look at the, um, at the sending part. So on the sending part, I think we get our signal coming into here, right? Then we come into this transistor right here, and I think that then goes up through here, amplify, amplify, and then down through here, right? So I think first thing to do is just kind of check, make sure our voltages are good in here and that we have um, our signal coming in here. We should be able to see a good signal here uh, and a good signal here and here. But we should be able to follow this down and um, see why that's not being driven. But I think first we might want to work backwards, right? We might want to look at this first too, the, the reverb drive, just see if it's sending anything out. Okay, so now we're looking at the um, what's coming out of our what's what's the signal that's going into the reverb, which should be a good healthy signal, but it's not. It's like a hundred millivolts. It's hardly anything, right? And that's got to be driving like this little uh, I think it's an electromagnet in there. And that's nowhere enough to do that. So we know our signal screwed up. So we got to start searching around now. So we were looking down here, right? And we're, our scope is hooked up right here. And we're hardly getting any signal through. And so now I think, I think we should check this other side. And we're coming in right here. Uh, reverb in green and white. And let's see what our signal looks like there. So here's our green and white wire right here. And it's actually the reverbs on the other side. But if we look here, we've got about 300 millivolts. And that seems like a much better... That seems like a reasonable signal to be coming in to that section. So now we've got to find that section and start looking at it. So unfortunately, to get to this board, we have to take this out and this out. Um, so 
let's get to that. So here's our signal coming into the reverb, the reverb amp, I'm going to call it, right? So that comes all the way up to here. And that's our capacitor. This is the other side of our capacitor, right? Our 0 0.01. And then that comes down to here. Okay. And so that's our first transistor um, is right here. All right. So here we have, so here's our capacitor. And that's coming down into this transistor. I think this is the MPS, uh, whatever that is, right? Here's a second transistor, and then that comes into this large transistor here. And so, um, I don't know, this looks like it might have been replaced, it's replaced, but um, let's just check. I think the base is the center there, so let's look at the base. So our scope has a nice signal coming in. And there's a nice signal going out. Signal coming in, signal going out. So that's a good sign. So then let's look at, well, it's really hard to get in here, but hmm, might have to go on the other side. Well, let's take a look. I'm, I don't know, I'm seeing a bunch of conflicting stuff. So, I think if you look at, so it started working again, right? So if I look at my output to the reverb, there's a signal coming out. There's a lot of funky stuff going on with it, right? And um, before I wasn't seeing anything on that. And so if we see the signal coming in, uh, smaller, of course. And... Um, and that comes down to the base of that first transistor. And then come over to the second transistor. And then we're seeing junk. Well, that's coming out of the second transistor. So I'm going to try replacing that first transistor and uh, see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I got that new transistor in, and it does seem to um, <laughs> it does seem to get the amplifier for the reverb back up and working, but it's really noisy. And I think if uh, let's see, I'm going to try to turn this if I can. So. <laughs> I've just got this thunderstorm that's going on with this reverb. And I think that if I come in here, so one of the things that was interesting is that this um, transistor was really running hot before. And it's running hot again, right? But then over here, I think I, I, think I got a problem with this resistor right here. So I'm gonna replace that uh, cause yeah, it just causes a lightning storm every time you, um, touch this and here, let me show you where that is. So that is right, uh, right here, right? So that's actually, you know, coming right off our drive transistor right here. And, um, so all our current through this transistor is kind of flowing through here and then through this um, capacitor to our uh, reverb itself. And so if this guy's messed up here, everything's messed up. So I'm gonna replace that. And luckily I have one here. It's a five watt, uh, 330 ohm. So let's change that out and see what's going on. Okay, so there's our, our new resistor soldered in. The old one uh, seemed in pretty good condition. So I'm wondering if it was just a Bad solder joint could have been either, but I had the I had the uh, the new one, so I just replaced it. And so let's uh, switch it on. Let 
and let's give it a tap tap Uh, nothing. So there's another resistor in here that um, looked kind of bad. So I'm going to take a look at it too. Uh, let's... How does it sound? Sounds pretty groovy, a little bit noisy, but um, I might also replace that other transistor. I got to look at it a little bit more, but it might be good if those two transistors are kind of paired up a little better. Um, and we don't seem to be getting hot the way we were. <laughs> all right so it looks like this reverb's working pretty good um a couple of problems it looked like it looked like that that main power transistor the one that's driving the reverb tank that thing was running really hot and um it really seemed like that uh that those transistors that were driving it, one of them was kind of screwy. I replaced it, but then I saw um, that started working better. But we started to see what the real problem was, was that transistor that is in line with the emitter and collector of the, the power transistor that runs the reverb was uh, flaky. And it's probably a, a solder joint. It may be the transistor went out first and then kind of overheated that resistor or it might be the other way around and uh, but either way I replaced both of the uh, the the front end transistors because they were kind of a PNP and an MPN and I replaced both of those and um, yeah so it's up and running it's sounding pretty good now one thing about this uh, reverb is it's, a, it's on the other side of the volume control and so that any noise uh, kind of in that signal path of the reverb kind of gets uh, amplified on the other side of the volume control. So, so here if I bang on that, you know, it comes out at a pretty decent volume and there is kind of a, a pop that happens in that reverb circuit. I don't know if that's a bad part or whether it was always like that, but anyways, pretty interesting fix. Um, so if you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. And I'm going to get my son down here and he can give a little demo. All right. Thanks for watching.
Yeah, it sounds pretty good. I think. It's a little bit too... That's guitar. <laughs>